Let's watch another one. Actually, Mark, I have to go. But how come, Steven? You only just came. It's my mom. She asked me to go study for the math vocabulary test tomorrow. All those triangles and angles have me all confused. Vocabulary test. Oh no, I completely forgot. Hey, what if we study together? Actually, there's a math song about this that I just remembered. You start, I'll follow Steven. Ready. Let's go. That was awesome, Mark. We should start a band. I totally agree. But wait, was that all we needed to know? Oh no, we forgot the angle part. How about we rewatch Mrs. Hernandez's video so we can get that part down too? Okay. Let's do that and we'll be all set. An acute triangle is a triangle that has all three angles that are acute, or less than 90 degrees. An obtuse triangle is a triangle that has one angle that is obtuse, or bigger than 90 degrees. Triangles can be labeled by their angles, right, obtuse, acute, or by their sides, isosceles, equilateral, and scalene. We can name them by saying both the angle and side lengths. Let's practice. Okay, so now let's put the vocabulary words that we learned into practice. If you notice this one, it has this little line here and this little line here, which means that these two, these two sides have the same length, okay? That means that they are congruent. Congruent means have the same value. So, since two sides are the same, we can say it's an isosceles, because an isosceles triangle, the definition says two sides that have the same length in a triangle. Now in the part B, this one doesn't have any lines like this one. Therefore, since there's no lines in there, we can't say that the sides are congruent. Even though they may look like they're 
you know, the same, we can't say that. So we say since no side is the same, this triangle is called scalene. Okay, here in example two, we have this uh, triangle. They have given us three angles and we have to identify it. Well, first of all, the angle measures, since none of the angle measures are the same, remember we learned that the angles, if they're the same, that means those sides across are the same. So none of these sides would be the same. Okay, so we already know that this is a scalene. We can also look at our angles that we learned about and see what kind of angles we have. Well, we have this angle here that's obtuse. It's bigger than the 90 degree angle. So since it has one that's obtuse, we would call this an obtuse triangle. That's how we would label this. You can also call this an obtuse scalene. They might do that in the star test, so I want you to be sure that you can label both of these things. In this second part, we have, again, none of the sides are the same because the degrees are not the same measure. Therefore, this would also be a scalene. Now, if we look at this, all of these numbers are smaller than our 90 degrees. So, this would be called the acute angles. Since they are all acute, the definition of an acute triangle, we, in order to be called an acute triangle, we need all the sides, all the angles to be acute. Therefore, this is called an acute triangle. Okay, so here, they, in example three, they gave us a triangle and we are missing this side. In order to solve that, we need to remember that all triangles add up, all the angles of a triangle add up to 180. So we know that angle X and angle 78 and angle 56 has to equal 180. From here, it's just like when you were solving algebra, we do what we were doing then. We can add 78 degrees and 56 to get 138. And then since this is plus, we do the opposite and we subtract 134 from both sides. And so our answer would be 46 degrees. If I was doing this on a test and I wanted to be sure, all I would need to do is I would need to add all of these, 78, 46, and 56, and make sure that when I added them, they all equaled 180 degrees. And that's how I could be 100% sure that I got the correct amount. We've got this. We are going to ace that test. Yeah. Let's get together to play some more songs.